So the 60 touch program, this, this has so many uses is that if you don't have a, a raving fan club or a 60 touch, a very deliberate process with your Mets, you've got to, this is KW's 33 touch just amped up. Okay. So same, same concept you've got. It surprises me how many people don't, don't have this dialed in. So here it is. We do two viral videos per month, but mention that you're from real estate B school, just so he knows, um, that, that recruiting blog, it's the same concept. It's just jab, 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 right hook. So you're giving away your best tools to your to agents in your market, and then you're, the right hook is that there's an offer to join your team. Um, so 24 viral videos at 24 touches. Topics from the interest rate environment to a market uh, overview to um, – you want to make these as, you know, as direct response um, – as you can. You're just doing it in a way where people want to open it up. So it's that direct response headline, then there are calls to action, and the blog does a really good job of, of that. Um, a 12 market snapshots. Um, we, we've got back and forth. Everyone sort of, you know, this is top producer and says market snapshots aren't accurate and so forth. It's a very turnkey system. Um, in some MLSs, the data gets gets a little screwy. I've got myself set up on one, and it works okay. They also do the listing alerts. So anytime there's a sold or an under contract or an active, an email goes out if, if it matches your criteria. So And those are really cool emails. It's like you, a little picture of you with a little caption, hey, this property just sold. And it almost seems as if you sold it. So it's, uh, it's very cool. 12 direct mail. You can do anything here. Uh, newsletters are a little bit more labor intensive and costly. Um, you could do a quarterly newsletter and then jumbo postcards that Danny, I, for, for three years, all I did was jumbo postcards. Some of these are old, but Danny has a, we don't, we're not really pushing the guaranteed sold much anymore. Um, but he, he has a, a huge database. There's a letter that we wrote, a season's greetings, a Thanksgiving, our pumpkin fest is in there. Uh, that's a newsletter that we, I think we sent out once. We're not even doing newsletters right now. We just keep it, keep it pretty simple. Um, there's just some ideas in, here, ideas in there. But what you want to do is reach out to Danny, and he's uh, he's real good at uh, keeping a library of stuff. So that's 48, 24 viral videos, 12 market snapshot, 12 direct mail, two events. So we do a baseball event, we do a fall festival. Events are expensive, so that's the last thing you should implement if you don't have anything else going. Do that one last because you'll spend a lot of money on an event. And the return is you really have to focus on monetizing it um, in order for it to be a success. So do everything you can to ask for referrals. And um, we even sent out – this is for our baseball event. We sent out a testimonial um, link. So the call is like, hey – um, Mike, this is, this is Lars from the Lars group. We are having, hosting a, um, a baseball game, uh, you know, in, in May. And, uh, you know, we just want to reach out. You were a great client of ours and, and just find out if you were interested in going. And also if you, you know, if you know anyone that's looking to buy or sell, it's, I mean, it's an opportunity to ask for a referral. And then when you get them to the event, you're asking for referrals. You're just always asking for referrals. But you're giving them something and then you're asking for something in return. So just law of reciprocity, influence, um, Cialdini's book uh, called Influence. So that's six, right? Two events times two plus one. So that's six touches. Two giveaways. We do the pies and we do the chocolates on Valentine's Day. Danny has postcards all designed and you can just swipe and deploy them. They're very generic. They're really, really great postcards and they're very low cost. Um but you just got to commit to doing it. And then once this is done, the 60 touch is done, it's just going out. And your database has a tag on it. You can either call it a tag 60 touch or raving fan club. And you're just, you're just sending stuff out and you're adding people to that database. And the next time a viral video goes out, they're included in that database. So it's just a very, very quick, it's just an easy way to, uh, to do it.